How does power to X work? Water is used to extract hydrogen, which is then used to generate electricity from renewable sources. Carbon dioxide is used to transform hydrogen to either gas or liquid to serve as fuel. This is what the power to X technology is all about. X stands for methane or liquid fuels like gasoline, ammonia, kerosene or diesel. The conversion of renewable energy into synthetic fuels will allow the use of green energy for maritime transport, aviation as well as some chemical processes. The result? PTX can make an important contribution to international climate protection, reducing global reliance on petroleum and natural gas. For PTX to be truly climate neutral, binding sustainability rules must apply from the outset. This in turn ensures long-term investment security for PTX systems. PTX must be created using energy from new green power plants to ensure that CO2 emissions are decreased. Otherwise, its carbon footprint would be even greater than that of fossil fuels like natural gas and diesel. Water is required for hydrogen production. This hydrogen needs to be produced in nations where there are no water shortages or where seawater can be desalinated for the energy source to stay viable. CO2 is required to produce PTX from hydrogen. To reduce greenhouse gas emissions, the CO2 must be extracted directly from the atmosphere or through processes that use renewable biomass. It is the only way to create a CO2 cycle with ambient air. The utilization of land serving to generate renewable energies such as solar and wind energy facilities must be figured into the overall footprint from both ecological and social perspective. Many developing and emerging countries have the potential to produce energy from renewable sources. PTX could support them become more independent, for example, as energy exporters. But only if this creates local added value, they are able to realize sustainable profits as PTX produces. The social and environmental effects of PTX production need to be quantified using sustainability metrics. It will ensure that the requirements for the sustainable usage of PTX are met.